So listen, we are just into a new year and already I can assume, already it's true in my life, that you may have fallen short of some expectation. Maybe it's getting up or maybe it's doing this, maybe it's sit-ups, maybe it's jogging, maybe it's reading, maybe it's being nicer. I don't know what the thing is for you, but all of us at this time, it would be good for us to remember something that number one, that when these things happen to us, the beautiful thing about this is realizing and remembering that God says that he knows regarding our frame that we are dust. He has sympathy and compassion for us. The next thing is that should encourage you and I to fight even harder. It has nothing to do with your salvation, but it has everything to do with working out your salvation, as the Bible says, with fear and trembling, with reverential awe. And that means that we apply ourselves. So you might say, well, Pastor Jack, I, I've messed up already six times. Listen, get those things behind you. Don't let them control you. There's a whole year ahead of you. Cut those things off now. Maybe it's a person, maybe it's a group, maybe it's whatever it might be. Cut them off now while you are able because don't carry baggage into the new year that you have the opportunity to leave behind. So there's a reason why we go into a new year. And even if you trip up, thank God, God's people, they don't fall because to fall is to lay down and to stay in it. We don't do that. We may fall down, but we get up. And God, hope, God the Holy Spirit gets us up and we press on. So disappointment, another thing on this, is that we often, we, you and I, often create a scenario that we say to ourselves, this is the way it's going to be or this is the way that I want it. And to be very honest with you, that's our will. That's not his will, that's our will being done. And so when things don't come to pass according to our will, now we're disappointed. And when that happens, we press the default button. And often the default button is, I think I need to blame God or somebody else about my disappointments. Listen, you're disappointed because you set things up to be some form of a fulfillment. Maybe it was him, maybe it was her, maybe you thought you're gonna get that big raise on January 1st and it didn't happen. Listen, the reason why we're disappointed is because we have set things up and then we lean on them. It's almost like, so to speak, um, having, uh, you know, counting, counting your eggs, so to speak, or your chickens before they're hatched, right? You, you don't do that. And so when we're disappointed, it's not God doing that. It's us doing it to ourselves. So best to follow him and there'll never be regret and there'll never be disappointment.